Okay, it's gardening time here on the homestead because it's spring. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Uh, that's right, it's gardening time. I have a bunch of seed to start in the greenhouse and we'll be doing that later today. And in the meantime, I am working on getting the uh, supports for my grapes uh, going because I now it's time to start pruning and culturing the grapes. So I'll show you what I've been up to here in the garden and starting off with just this corner of the garden. Right here is my grape. It's a Niagara and uh, it's one that survived of the three that I've purchased from the seed company, Niagara, Catawba, and uh, there's another variety, uh, Concord, and it, the, the other two died and I got a replacement my son bought and I planted it down over there by the gate and so it's going great too so I'm building this structure to support the wires on which I'm going to be training the canes of the grapevines and I'll be pruning those and training them and getting it going so uh, hang out with me and, and watch me build this structure Okay, for this uh, section, uh, the bracket in which I'm going to jerry rig is I'm using plumber's tape. And this is a handy product to have on every homestead. So I'm going to measure it out and we're going to strap those uh, beams up and then I use my tin snips and cut it. Uh-huh. Then I'm going to screw it in place. Now those top beam supports are to keep the poles uh, uh, tight because I'm going to be running two lines of a uh, wire and uh, the wire has to be really taut because the wire is going to be supporting the canes of the grapes and as the grapes fruit, that fruit will be heavy and weigh down the uh, wire so I need that wire heavy duty and tight so we're going to use some uh, wire fencing and all the material so far I've resourced that I've had in my stockpile uh, that's been around. Uh, the um, poles, the wooden upright poles I resourced from an estate cleanup 
and the timber across the top is leftover material that was left over from building the greenhouse when Discovery Channel is here. The plumber's tape I had purchased to do a project when I was actually putting all the plumbing in my house underneath the house when I was putting the house together. And all the screws I just had uh, on hand. So, so far uh, I just uh, bought a 80 pound bag of cement and that was the only cost today. Everything else was uh, on hand. Now, in a previous video on gardening, I think I demonstrated how much I hate weeding. And I've had to go through and weed eat this four times a year. So I, I got some free uh, landscaping fabric the, from this last estate cleanup. And I went down and purchased uh, six bales of this pine shavings. I'm gonna lay it over the top to add weight to it so it doesn't blow away and to uh, just add a little bit of aesthetics here to the garden. So we're gonna keep it clean and keep it weed free. So let's spread this stuff out. Now that the weed control is taken care of, I'm going to swap my uh, screw bit for a drill bit. We're going to go ahead and put in the wires for the grapes. Okay, I couldn't find any specific measurements on how high off the ground that the first lower wire is or how high off the ground that the top wire is, but I'm going to use my uh, skills of reasoning and deduction and put the first wire at knee high that way when the grapes fruit they uh they don't hang to the ground and then the other one will put it about a fist distance below this top bar and that way we can train the vines because it all uh, the fruit will hang down so let's get those holes drilled thread this wire through and this these beams are to keep the poles apart so they won't tilt in so I can tighten up the wire Okay, we'll go tighten the other end. Okay, I got that wire in, so we're, now we're going to go place the lower wire. Well, that concludes this episode on fixing my arbor for training grapes. And also, I pruned my grapes to get them going because they're going to start grow, growing here pretty quick. The best time to prune uh, these vines are in the spring and the fall. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host here in the gardening series at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a modern homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest, west-southwest of Crater Lake National Park. 
for care of the grapes, planting it, propagating grapes, pruning grapes. I'm referring to this Better Home and Garden new garden book. It's a nice little catalog I actually inherited from my grandmother. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice heirloom to hand down. Please stay tuned for more videos. You can follow us on social media. We're on several platforms. And also give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also sharing my videos really helps promote my channel. We'll see you guys again in more episodes. Bye-bye.